Well, finally arrived at our uh, chosen air in a place just outside uh, Epernay. I'll, uh, I'll put the uh, actual name on the screen uh, because I can't pronounce it. Um, and I think we've chosen well. We've had a nice journey down. Um, in fact, we've had a very good journey down. We stopped a couple of times. Um, at, at the uh, motorway airs. Uh, we came down on the motorways just uh, uh, just to speed things up. Um, I think we've done about 300 miles and uh, looking forward to a, a peaceful, restful uh, time here in uh, Epernay, uh, right in the Champagne region. Yeah, so we're on the uh, other side of the canal, uh, looking back over to where the little motorhome area is. You can probably just see a couple of motorhomes popping out over there. We've got Sue and Trace here. What have you found? We're, we're, just, we're reading our, our fluent French. We're reading. We know what it says. Yeah, um, it says the canal is a popular fishing area. Uh -huh. uh, you can find many fish species. Your French is amazing. Your understanding of French, I can't fool you. Yeah, we enjoyed a good night's sleep. So, Tracy's just uh, gone on to the uh, patisserie, uh, the lingerie, uh, to get some uh, croissants. Uh, we're going to have some croissants and coffee, as you do, and uh, then get ready for our forward journey. Uh, down to uh, uh, Le Chateau uh, Peverie in down in Burgundy. Um, we're going to take the scenic route, I think, uh, on this one, uh, which is going to be a mix of uh, the toll motorways and uh, the RN route national uh, roads. Uh, so we're just going to break it up a little bit um, and, and just enjoy the scenery as we go along. So we'll. Uh, catch up with you uh, when we arrive down at Le Chateau Le Pevery uh, later on this afternoon. A lovely old wooden uh, wine or grape press. Yeah.
And in we go. That's like a Christmas tree. It's like a Christmas. It's like a Christmas tree, isn't it? Have you found one what you like, dear? Yeah. Well, we haven't seen any yet. All right. Um, what the crack is. Yeah. 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 Oh, Trev, Trev can choose it. You can choose it because it's it's for Sue, isn't it? Yeah. We could have we could have just got the individual ones. It wasn't any cheap to get half a dozen, but I just thought the individual ones might not come in a box. Yeah. And at least we can carry them physically in there, can't we? It's a lovely memento, isn't it? Yeah, at least, uh, yeah. You'll be carrying your carrier back till it's Well, look at that for a view. So we just pulled up for lunch. Um, the vans are just down the road to your right. And uh, we're overlooking the uh, the town of Merceau there with the beautiful church spire. And just pan round here. Hope you can see this all right. But here are the vineyards of Burgundy and in particular Merceau and you can see already um, they're out harvesting the grapes for the coming season in autumn and pan right round and all you can see is vineyards all the way around and like I was saying to Trev if you look up there at uh, the signpost, um, I'll just put myself in, in picture and put that behind. Um, you can see the um, the other towns, Pomard and Volney, um, famous, world famous wines, uh, all grown here um, in Burgundy. So we're um, about to head back. We've just had a, a lovely lunch in a lay-by. What better place <laughs> than to have this? Um, we're going to just go down um, to the campsite which is about an hour away now um, we're going on the uh, RN roads, the Route Nationale roads rather than the motorway we've had enough of them this morning um, and we should be on site, our first site of the tour um, around about an hour's time um, but we've got some a nice town of Chalonces on uh, to drive through so I'll put the camera on for that and just show you that. We're not stopping there, we're just going straight through it because uh, we want to get down to the campsite now and uh, get ourselves set up. So we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you really soon. Yeah. 